Before I start washing this face, because it takes me a little bit, I take off the clothes that I wore during the day. I put on my house outfit, if you will, and then these are my all my earrings that <laughs> I have for the day, so I'd make sure I take these off and also take this headband off. I have a special scrunchie that I wear. Ugh. It's from Silk. It's very luxurious and indulging, but it helps. So the first step I like to begin with is to take my White Rabbit Plain Premium Cosmetic Cotton Sheets Flats, which have been my go-to for eye makeup removal. They're super flat and you actually can open them into a bigger sheet. Really soft, not very linty. Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. This has been a great eye makeup remover for lash health as well. So I make sure I douse these both a lot because you never want to pull or tug. And I gently press on the lashes. I don't swipe just yet. And allow the solution to break down the mascara first. And then after that has been done, of course, I press and sweep, press and sweep. It's really important to not use tugging motions or forcefully remove your eye makeup, especially with your lashes involved. You can lose your lashes. They're very susceptible to falling out of your eyeballs anyway. I got, I'm very thorough with this step. It looks a little weird, but you gotta make sure there's no eye makeup left behind. And this is why I love these sheets, because you could refold them and use a different side so you don't keep applying makeup when you're trying to remove it. And the eyes are done. I could use several things to remove my facial makeup. I do use a balm, which I've been loving. Between the Green Clean from Pharmacy, I've been using this is finished. I have to replenish. But for a drug, drugstore dupe, I've been trying out the Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. For those who want to take a more eco-friendly route in terms of removing makeup this is the face halo and it is designed with very fine woven strands to take off your makeup with just water so we wet it make sure it's nice and saturated and it just removes your makeup without tugging very gently I don't highly recommend it for eye makeup removal especially because I put on loads of mascara that's why I take a separate step to remove my eye makeup mascara and shadow but look how fast that was in removing facial makeup and I had on foundation powder concealer bronzer highlighter blush <laughs> it's like a lot you know what I mean and if you're wondering like oh Alicia like it's dirty I use the soap and sinners natural liquid soap to quickly wash it it's very simple I put it on one side and you'll just see how quickly it just takes the makeup off. And I know this is like, Alicia, I wanna go to bed. You will eventually. You'll be done in a minute. It's like brand new. And I have a little hook, so she's ready for the next day. The next step I like to take is now the actual cleansing step. And if you're wondering, you just cleaned, you just cleaned your face, not so. We clean the superficial layer, which was makeup, sunscreen, which you should be putting on every day, by the way. Sunscreen, debris, pollution, dirt. That could all get lodged into the makeup on your skin, and you actually still might have dirt left behind. So for the actual cleansing step, I go with my Biosan Squalene and Tea Tree Cleansing Oil. I'm a huge fan of this brand. It is EWG approved. All the ingredients in here are like non-toxic from beginning to end. This has tree, tea tree oil, so it's anti septic anti-inflammatory very healing especially because I have a lot of acne that's still healing on my skin so it foams up really nicely and then I just go on my face I have to say this was a very nostalgic moment because back in the Disney when I was figuring out my skincare routine in my 20s I dabbled in a lot of lush cosmetics and I don't know if you remember the lush tea tree toner oh my god it smells just like that. It's like, oh, the memories when I didn't know what I was doing. It's really important you at least take a minute to thoroughly wash your face. 
especially if you wear makeup in towards the hairline get it in there really important to do so and there we rinse <sighs> always pat to dry never drag Next up, I go in with my Aquil Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toil Toner. This is at a pH of 5.5. It is designed to rebalance your skin's pH. Soap is very basic on, I believe, the alkaline and acidity uh, spectrum. So for your skin to be back at a four, at a five or 5.5, that's where the toning step becomes vital. I take another one of my flat cotton from Ripe Rabbit. This licorice water is a Korean skincare product, so you know it's gonna work. Believe it or not, there's still makeup and whatever left behind. Make sure not to pull on the skin, just carefully wipe it around, especially here near the hairline. Up the neck, always go up, never down. And see, we still got, still got stuff on there. Not too bad, eh? Next up, I have the Neogen Dermalogic Real Ferment Micro Essence. I know SK2 is very popular, but this is like the version, the, the reasonably priced version. <laughs> and it has a lot of fermentation ingredients in here. It is to designed to replenish your skin, to plump it up, get the moisture levels back up. It's very liquidy, so you press it into your skin. And I like this formula because it absorbs rather quickly. If you feel you have a lot, just also press it on the backs of your hands because your hands could use some skincare loving as well. This is a Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. It relies on lactic acid, which gently exfoliates the skin, helps to even tone, and also helps with any acne scarring and just declogging overall. And then I mix that with my Peach and Lily Glass Refining Serum. This has a lot of antioxidants in here, moisture, like hyaluronic acid and all that good stuff. So I mix those two together and just glide the product over my face. Once we've applied our serums, then we go into our moisture step and I've been loving the Earth's Major Recovery Cream. Love the color of it, it's like golden. Like I smell this and it just reeks bedtime for me. So mentally, it helps me kind of get into that state of bedtime, night recovery, and applying it just makes it so relaxing as well because again, this smells amazing. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot something, how dare I? Banana Bright Eye Cream. People say that eye cream during the night is dumb. I'm not really sure what the science is on that, but I always like to put an eye cream under my eyes and around just the orbital area. If you're not into eye cream and you think it's a conspiracy, then you can just use your night cream and whatever leftover you have from applying it on the rest of your face, you could just apply that to your eyes. Or under eyes, I should say. Not your actual eyes, that'll be a little dangerous. Okay. I also like to go in with my new lash, Lash Enhancing Serum. This is really important, especially if you wear a lot of eye makeup and you remove it every day. This is just to help replenish your lashes, to help them grow has conditioning ingredients in here as well. The Sofa Center's Super Powered Serum. This is a local New York brand. She makes her own soaps, her own candles, her own body lotion, her own liquid soap that we use to clean our face halo with. It has tamanu, grapeseed oil, argan oil, uh, carrot seed oil, rosehip seed oil, and the scent is rose and very calming. Like, I am so relaxed. And anytime you take on your night routine, you're looking to use products that are repairing and transformative in nature because when you sleep, that's when your skin uh, rebalances itself, repairs itself. And this is a very indulgent step, but the facial roller, again, this is probably all placebo, but you know what? It makes me enter a state of mind of just ritualistic, effective skincare. After you apply your facial oil, you can use the Jade Royal just to further press it into the skin, and it just feels nice. 
you know, it's very relaxation inducing. If I have a nasty blemish, so you, I have a pigment problem and I have a lot of acne scars that are left behind that I'm looking to lighten and to help reduce. I just recently bought this. This is the Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. These are great because it's out of sight, out of mind. And if you feel you encounter a pimple that you just can't get your hands off, leave it alone. And you put one of these stickers on your blemish and it has salicylic acid and a lot of healing ingredients just to help knock it out overnight. You just put it on there and you wake up and it'll drain it. It's pretty effective and pretty cool, I should say. So that's it, my friends. That is my nighttime skincare routine. I know it's long, but again, it's very ritualistic for me and it's something I look forward to. It's also something to indulge in because it is for you. So hopefully this has inspired you to try out new steps that you wouldn't have before watching this. And I wish you happy skin the morning after. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel as well as my YouTube channel at Kinky Sweat. I hope to see you guys again and I hope that you have a better bedtime.